Well, in case you didn't know, there is a limit on how many times you can use Perplexity Labs every single month. So this is not something that they mentioned on their announcement page and that's kind of disappointing. But there is indeed a limit of 50 credits every single month on Perplexity Labs. So this is an info that has been provided in the help center which is kind of hidden from the main page. But basically, uh, you're only getting 50 Labs credit every month which is not a lot. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how many times or how many credits that you have left on your perplexity account. And there are two ways you can do that. There is the quick way and there is a convenient way. So let's start with the quick way. Now, if you want to see the number of credits of your perplexity labs, let's go to this URL. Uh, you can open a browser and you have to navigate to this URL. So it is perplexity.ai and then you have to type slash and then rest and then slash again and then user slash settings so this is the url uh, perplexity.ai slash rest slash user slash settings and make sure that you have a login with your account now after that you can navigate the page and you'll see this kind of page and if you want to know the number of credits of your perplexity labs uh, you have to enable pretty print uh, because it will make it a lot easier to see and your perplexity labs credit is here it is in the PBLX beta limit variable. And right now on my account, I have 21 credits, which is honestly not a lot. So that's one way to find the number of credits on your Perplexity Labs account. Now, that's not the most convenient and I think not many people actually like this kind of interface. So uh, let me show you the second alternative. Now you can go to Chrome Web Store and then let's open the website. And then you want to search for a Chrome extension called Complexity. So this is quite a popular extension among many Perplexity users because it's kind of expanding the features from Perplexity or at least making the UI a bit easier to use. So let's open this. Make sure that it's from cplx.app. Oh, sorry about that. I did not mean to click that. So let's click this. And now let's click Add to Chrome and then click add extension all right still trying to install that to my browser and by the way this extension can be used on uh, google chrome on opera microsoft edge and many chromium based browsers okay so there's this uh ui actually there's this introduction you can just click next and then just click next again and they do recommend it to actually a pin the extension but that's not absolutely necessary now what you need to do is that you have to open the dashboard of this extension so i'm going to click this and this is the extension the complexity i'm going to click this and click dashboard or you can just right click on the extension and then click dashboard it's the same thing so this is the dashboard page and there are many plugins that you could install or add to Perplexity. Right now there's no plugin whatsoever, but that's totally fine because there is only one plugin that we need to enable or at least to see the number of Perplexity Labs credit, which is this plugin, Better Language Model Selector. And by the way, there is one thing here that I need to mention that this extension is going to have some changes in the future so you could have a different interface or different look or maybe different wording on the setting just just find the one that says better language or you know better model language selector and let's enable that now let's go back to perplexity and i'm going to refresh the page just wait and there you go so now it turned into this button i'm going to click it and if you want to know the number of credits of your perplexed labs, just hover above the labs menu and it tells me the number of my credits, which is 21 credits, which is again, accurate from my previous method. So that's basically how you can find the number of credits left on your perplexity account. So if you find this tutorial to be useful, then feel free to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.